Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, by the way, my name is Air if you're new here. And today I wanted to do my February favorites. I don't do these videos often, but I have a few things that I have been loving, um, some new things, so I thought that I would do a video about it. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Most of them are beauty products, so yeah. The first product that I want to talk about, it's a new purchase. I just got it very recently and I will be doing a midweek video about it. Um, so look out for that. And I am talking about the Lana Creme Organic Rosehip 100% Pure Rosehip Oil. This is a lifesaver. Oh my goodness. I have been looking for a great um, facial oil and I think I finally found it and it's just so amazing like my face seriously feels so soft and it just it feels very hydrated which is what I have been looking for for months now so yeah definitely love this check out my midweek video um, sometime soon I don't know yet when it's gonna be coming up but I will be talking um, more in depth about this product in that video the next product that I have been loving is a mask and this is the Pacifica Future Youth Mask. Um, I actually i am not using this as a mask. I'm using it as a spot treatment and I will also do a midweek video on this. Um, and I filmed kind of like a before and after video um, so hopefully that will help um, to show how this product works as a spot treatment. Loving it. The next product that I want to talk about I have mentioned it so many times so I'm not gonna go into it so much but it is my Abba Botanica Hawaiian cream and I got this beginning of February and it's almost out so it takes about a little over a month for me to finish one of these and I use it every single day amazing product the next one that I want to talk about is again a recent purchase I think it was purchased February as well um, and I already did a midweek video on this check it out I will leave it in the description below and this is the Lana Creme Reviving Night Cream oh my gosh it's amazing it's just really moisturizing um, and it also kind of makes my face softer so I really love that check out the video I talked more about this product in there okay just a few more products left I wanted to talk about um, an eyeshadow stick and this is the scandalized eyeshadow stick in 011 bluffing. I have been loving this a lot in the month of February because since I've been trying to go to the gym more often, um, I've been more tired for some reason. And that means I stay in bed longer instead of um, getting up earlier and getting more time to do my makeup. So when I don't have time to do my makeup, I use this, just blend it in really nicely and done. That's all my eye makeup. It's very convenient and I just absolutely love the color. And yes, I have worn it in a previous video. I think the video before this one I did. So, love this so much. The next product is, again, a new product. And I don't know yet if I would do a midweek video about it. But I already have a blog post. A first impression blog post. If you want to check it out, I will leave it in the description below. And I said in that blog post that if I like it enough, I would put it in a favorites video so here it is and I am talking about the chorus um, lip butter in Jasmine I love this product um, I wouldn't say it's like a 10 out of 10 in a scale but um, I think it, it's at least a 7 because it is really moisturizing it's very light so I feel kind of um, thrown off by how light it is but it's amazing Ooh smells good I mean it's very subtle it's kind of sweet and I love the color it's a sheer pink um, and you know the only thing that might be an issue about this is that I'm going through it pretty quickly because since it is very thin and um, it gives the illusion that it's not enough when you first apply it I apply this three times at once so does, does that make sense? Like when I need to apply it, I apply it once, again, and another one because I feel like it needs to be layered in order to actually work for me. Um, so yeah, that's the only con about it, but I have been loving this. The final beauty pr 
product that I have been loving is from my NARS Virtual Domination Palette. I have been loving one specific blush in this palette. And if I'm not mistaken, I looked at the name in the back of this. Hopefully I got it right. And it is this shade right here. And I think it's called Sex Fantasy. Yeah, it's Sex Fantasy. It, yeah, they have the really racy names, but I have been loving this a lot. Um, it's a very light pink and it's matte, which um, I don't mind. I like it very much. I'm wearing it today. don't know if you can see it in the, in the video, but so, so natural. I absolutely love it. I didn't think that a pink blush would suit me because, I don't know, for some reason, I keep thinking that my skin is darker than it is. Um, and so I have been using coral tones, which was why I was using this one a lot. Um, but then I started using this and oh my goodness, it's the only one I've been using pretty much. I don't know if it comes in its own um, little palette or pot or something, um, but if it does and I find it online, I will leave it in the description below. Um, yeah, I'll try. Okay, so I want to talk about um, non-beauty related favorites. And uh, my favorite TV show for the month of February, if you didn't already know, <laughs> is Second Chance. Oh my gosh, that show is just life. I think so. Um, so before I really, really, really loved the show White Collar, um, it is with Tim Decay and Matt Bomer. And then they canceled it. I'm like, seriously, why would you cancel such a great show? Um, but anyways, now Tim Decay is in the show Second Chance with, I think his name is Rob Krasinski or something. Wow. <laughs> I love that show so much. Um, there's so many different characters that you just love. Um, like when I watch TV shows, it's like, oh yeah, I like the main characters and then the supporting characters are fine. But this show, I love every single character. Like there's something about them that you just kind of get attached to. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how else to go about it. It's like a Frankenstein themed TV show, except that there's no monster. Just a really cute, hot, funny guy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, um, so that is pretty much my favorites. I don't really have any more to add. By the way, say hi to my new Minnie Mouse. That was my Valentine's Day gift from my mom. Um, she likes silly things and this thing. Here, I'll show you. Don't know which. Oh, here it is. I feel like it's kind of inappropriate for a Disney character to be doing what this one is doing. And it basically, I feel like it's grinding. Let me just move back a little bit. Uh, like, I don't know. Oh gosh, now this is gonna take forever to stop. I just, I don't know, the way it's moving, it's, it doesn't seem appropriate. <laughs> Okay, I could turn it off. I mm, cool. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, hey, it's super cute. It's my new friend. Um, I actually have the bag that my mom gave me for Valentine's. I haven't delved into it, but yeah, loving this. It's like my new little friend right there. <laughs> Anyways, that is the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.